Hey guys, Stephen Max here, and today we're playing some Red Dead Redemption. This is episode, um, I think this is eight. So we got an Irish mission here. Last time we gotta get that big gun. We st we stole a big gun from the mining um, people and the mining oh, chef. sister, put them up. Oh shit! Irish, what are you doing? Who the this hell are you? Goddamn Give me that. People, man. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh God, blimey! And I've come to tell you. If you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. <laughs> now get down there! Uh, oh. uh, that's just... that's just oh, sad, bro. Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Uh, Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Uh, ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. Damn. So, uh, that. please excuse us. Man, they look so relieved. Now, Irish, a Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. Ah, come on. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Ah, oh my god, for realsies. Man. We gotta do this shit again. How about a drink or two, mister? You're barking up the wrong tree, lady. Oh shit, I don't need What you looking at? What you looking at? <laughs> huh? You're drunk, bro. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my prison fine Is everybody order. drunk here? <laughs> I could carve something pretty out of that face of yours. What a lusty specimen you are. I like that. <laughs> that fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking yeah, defenseless ladies this, of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. True. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Don't go get no Christ! Idea. The church has Your more money than fire. anybody. Ain't nobody that fucks Where are we going, Irish? I mean, Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. Oh shit, we just had pop in. The door won't open, the shit's locked. Yeah, that stuttering bastard said this would be open. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. A company Irish again. Okay, down. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Uh, this is Walking Simulator 2008, um, 2018. <laughs> Alright, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Who are you working with? I, I, I don't know. Oh, shite. Brilliant. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my hand! 
Oh. Labor relations the don't sound ass. like they're exactly at an old time. Hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good look, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. But I can't go into here. Okay, I gotta go to the ladder. Okay. Sneak to the window. I'm gonna get hey, you just you hard. Yeah. Which window now? Thank you for your kindness, Mr. I thought I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up from me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. Oh shit! It's gonna be one hell of a fight. Get over here! Thank you. Hey, 
has his mask. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half more, you d d d dirty f f f f fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Yeah, yeah, okay then. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Now I gotta go see Wes Dickens and see what shit he's gonna tell me to do now. Fame, that's why we should be. Okay then, we're gonna come back and we're gonna... Okay, the last hands of line out section. I don't know. Anyways, um so we gotta do this Nigel West Dickens mission. So whenever we um okay I'm gonna cut here and then we're gonna go there. Alright, here we are um Nigel West Dickens mission. What the hell is this man? 
The sport of kings and liars. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now, I know oh, that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Ratskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy! I'll show you the way! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! Oh, my heart. I refuse to let the He's blind beautiful. stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Reach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Okay, Dad. There it is, John. Rathskeller Fork. Great, the next race is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh... Okay, here we are, man. Slow it up now. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. I should have bought horse beer. See you later!
can name this episode Shaky. Conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. <laughs> How could things possibly go wrong? So is that it? Can we uh, do Fort Marcinal? Because we only do two missions this episode. Maybe we can finish the Fort Marcinal. Well, yeah. Yep. No, it's, uh, is it Fort Marcer mission now? Yep, it's Fort Marcer. All right, let's go get over there. And that's gonna be um, the end of this um, episode. Whenever we done this mission. So this is Marshall Johnson. All right then. Alright guys, here we are at Fort Mars. <laughs> the Assault in Fort Mars. Alright, that's the name of this episode. Okay, it's final. It's better to do it at night time. John? Marshal. Gentlemen! <clears throat> uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. 
question is which one went out between his pride and his instinct for survival. All right, let's do this shit. We we've been prepping for this shit for a while now. Esconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I'd lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? <laughs> it reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Ready? They're just gonna open the gate. Okay then. Hey there! <laughs> come on in! Come on in! Welcome to my humble abode! <laughs> come on! <laughs> yeah! Set us lost as Greetings, mind. my good men! <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you? I could turn a man into a beautiful woman. <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique. Uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Damn, this guy's good. What the hell? It's a trap! <laughs> Tell me what you got. You don't stop that. You ain't gonna live. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, you damn your last thing. More 
I think it's up we got probably. Yep, it's up. Sorry, took too long to get there. Don't tell me I gotta do the whole shit like over again. Let's find those bastards! Okay then, let's go get this piece of shit. Yeah, they have TNT right here. I think my work here is done! Godspeed, gentlemen! He's gone. Still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, what Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Oh, shit. A surprise. These guys got reinforcements, though. God damn. God damn. That's a lot of damn bitches. Ooh. <laughs>
think that's all, man. Shit. <laughs> Bill ain't here. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on, I Marcy. missed it. Mr. Marcy, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? Who knows Opposite Javier Escuela? Know. Oh! Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chupa Rosa, I think he said. <laughs> yes, bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Damn. Well, Bill's going to Mexico. We gotta go get his ass. And I guess that's gonna be next episode. I don't know. We're going to Mexico next episode. Yep. I think this here is Mexico, yeah. So Irish is still over here, god damn it. Alright guys. Um thanks for watching. I know this episode has been going on for a while now, so uh I hope you enjoyed it and um yeah, I'm out. Peace. Man.